What's happening, my single chat? Stop rolling your fat doobies around. Stop scratching your ball sack because everybody's getting canceled left and right. We're talking about doctor, 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 this, this, this. Respect, respect, respect. We also got the homie Lil Nicky. Nick Marks is also getting canceled. Bruh. A year ago, he said, leave the kids alone. Got canceled. A week ago, he said certain things about his wife on camera and he got canceled. And guess what, guys? Today, he's getting canceled once Bruh. again like the video if we should cancel the cancel culture dislike the video if you're like we should be all about canceling everybody man we should also cancel you i want to know where you guys at with it i got a bunch of clips that i'm going to share with you guys after this one you're definitely going to be looking like this dog nick Merck's talking about playing more with dr disrespect some important background context he has also started saying that he wants to take a bit more time away from apex okay. to return to call of duty and also to play with the doc which will not be on twitch he still does not want to risk a twitch ban he yeah. still thinks it's risky and he's getting canceled for us saying that as well i mean these gotta be first world problems guys i want you to understand this okay you might think you are not good at anything but that's completely wrong because there are people in this world that claim to be good at watching tv Bruh. if they can claim to be good at watching tv dog you are good at like a billion things man Come on, guys, like, why you put yourself up through that, bruh? But wait for it. I gotta show you the clip where he talked about and said certain things to his wife as well. Wait for it. To do so, even though other streamers have, he will not be playing with Doc on Twitch. He will not risk it, but he does want to play more with him on Kick. I mean, uh -huh. look, at the end of the uh -huh. day, when viewership's going down, it's not a great feeling. But yeah. perspective's important, and to know that, like, look, no matter what, you're killing it is huge, too. So you gotta feel confident yeah. about that, especially being in the game for so long. Bro, it's no easy task to stay up in this area for as long as we've been. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's not yeah, easy. Yeah. You gotta work at it, you gotta adapt, you gotta do new things. Facts, so, facts, facts, look, facts. we had a little fun with the Apex, and I still wanna competitively play that. I mean, the guy, like, literally stopped playing Call of Duty for, like, a year and a half, right? And a lot of people were saying that, yeah, never come back to Call of Duty, man, we gotta boycott. And, guys, I I'm not sure for how long you guys have been around but i was telling y'all dead ass okay gamers are a different breed of people Appa apparently the reason he's getting canceled is because of doctor disrespect and also playing call of duty so guys are saying that he's going back to his word and everybody's going crazy right now uh doctor disrespect is a friend that nick does not deserve lost all cred when nick went back on his word and gave it to <laughs> gave it into the call of duty franchise Bumbaka. i mean everybody saw this coming let's be real i mean it's good that he stopped playing call of duty for a uh, for a a year and a half i mean he didn't have to but he did and i mean whatever right but here's the thing though like it's gaming at the end of the day right and we were having this conversation like some of you guys were talking about it i saw other people talk about it in other comments and i saw you guys commenting on my video as well that boycott will work because you just gotta hold on to it full disclosure i did not buy modern warfare 3 because you know, I, I don't like it, okay? I'm waiting for Call of Duty 2024. If that turns out to be good, yeah, sure, I'll get it. But if that's also bad, I'm ready to not buy once again, Bruh. all right? But here's the thing, though. Sega's so thing that boycotts will work in gaming. Guys, it doesn't work. I know it's a defeating mindset, but how many times you have seen Sega's so trying to cancel a game and it just sells even more just this past month, okay? We're here in Modern Warfare 3 is the best-selling game. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! And yeah, we did hear the numbers are down. And the numbers are short down when you compare Modern Warfare 3 with like other Call of Duty games but it still is the best selling game in comparison to all the other games that are out there and Bud Light obviously you know like Bud Light got a different audience and you know we got a hillbilly the rednecks out there and obviously the non rednecks as well uh, no disrespect to anybody but but like you know the audience is different for Bud Light when Bud Light went after the kids when they started like shoving woke crap down everybody's throat guess what people did people were like okay we're gonna stop buying it like f f the bud light we don't care gamers uh, uh, i mean yeah they took a stand they started talking but they were like <laughs> i want to still play a, a little bit of call of duty so gamers were like their heads were in the right direction but they you guys gotta understand that when you pick this controller up you cannot let it go okay that's uh, that's what it comes down to so boycotts just simply don't work in gaming some of you watching probably would disagree and would say that because of like because of that i have stopped playing call of duty and i'm not gonna play anymore i mean that's good okay i mean that's you but you cannot think that other people are gonna do the same right i think i'm gonna put my content first for the foreseeable future and we're gonna be doing a lot of like youtube we're gonna be doing a lot of call of duty playing both as well because you know apex uh -huh outside of the tournaments was getting a little boring, a little bit stale. I felt that from the community. I felt that for myself.
Uh -huh. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, and look, we played it for how long, chat? Like a year and a half, two years, right? That's wild. And I that's loved wild. it. I loved it. I still want to play it competitively, but I just don't want to only do just that. You know, I think that's kind of where I'm at. It's, it's, a fair it's crazy to me that they removed his skin just because he said that leave the kids alone. And the, the, the craziest part even here is this, that he was invited by Activision and Activision scanned his entire body, put his skin in the game. They also scanned his BWC too. Bruh. And then they removed the skin and they still got his BWC stored at Activision. It's crazy. They got like all the details, man. Like, how are you going to let them like scan your entire body and give your details about your BWC and, and yeah, they're going to put your skin in the game and then remove it but they still got your bwc man fair question man it's a That's fair question insane, but Hell ultimately um bro. i feel really great about all of it man we we okay. were back on cod this past week you know the numbers are way up across the board youtube's plugging away every clip just bangs so much harder people people love to see me play with tim and clock uh -huh. they uh -huh. just love it man it's like the, it's the trio we've been playing for five six years together they love that shit, you know and and, and i i'm and i i love playing with them uh -huh. I missed playing with them. Granted, a lot of things happened outside, you know, of just the three of us. Yeah. Not involved. Leave the kids alone. Between the three of us, but outside the three of us, it definitely kind of hindered playing as much, you know? Like with Call of Duty and then even with like competitive Apex. And then like the whole skin thing, that was kind of annoying. Yeah. I think you take a couple of those things away, and I don't think we would ever skip the beat. But it happens, bro. Yeah, like, and wait for it. I gotta play you the other clip as well. And Dr. Disrespect topic is coming up as well. But here's the thing, man. It's at the end of the day, it's a game, right? Like, imagine, like, you stop playing with your homies, though. You you feel what I'm saying? And in his case, it's like uh, he stopped playing with Doc and Tim for a while because all of them were playing, like, different games. Previously, they would play, like, Call of Duty together, right? And you cannot expect, like, other people to do the same, right? Like, if you're, if you're gonna stop playing Call of Duty, that's good, though, right? You got my respect. But if you're playing, like, listen, I'm not gonna, like, hit on you, right? It's one of those things but everybody's like calling out nick on that like it's like it's trying to cancel nick merks over this I, I i'm curious to see like what y'all be thinking right you now gotta, too. you gotta just take it in stride and do your thing yeah the one the is it that deep or you think that guy like it's not that deep bro like i got my own problems like this shouldn't even be a problem is that one of those things or i, I feel like that if you got no problems then you might be looking at this uh you might be psychoanalyzing and you might be like yo bro like why you play call of duty why you go back on this on your word but i feel like that people that got a lot of problems in their life they will look at it and be like you know what I'm saying? Like, this is kind of like the reaction that they would get. One super cool thing about Kick Chad that a lot of people forget is, is bro, I can play with Doc now. You know, I don't really think we can play with him on Twitch. I know Clocky does every now and then. He'll roll the dice and he'll play with Doc on Twitch. But I think he is rolling the fucking dice, bro. And, I mean, we're literally, we're like a top channel on Twitch. I don't want to throw my whole thing away to play with Doc on Twitch. But I definitely want to play with Doc. I mean, bro, when we were chilling in person, me, him, and my father, and his family, bro, we were clicking, man. Like... Doc and he's also getting canceled just because of saying that that I don't want to give up uh, give away my Twitch. I mean that's kind of smart, right? That does not mean that he's not a good friend. It just means that he's trying to like uh, keep his friendship and also keep his business side, guys. That's what it means. I mean, like for example, and obviously like Doc wouldn't if Doc is a true friend of his. Doc also wouldn't want Nick to kind of like you know risk it and lose his entire like business, right? Across the country from me, but if we live close by, we'd be such good friends, man. We're into the same shit. We talk about the same things. We think the same ways. It, it, we're just two peas in a pod other than maybe the fact that he's eight feet tall and I'm 5'10". Bruh. You know? So, won't be able to stream on Twitch and Wait Kick, obviously, when we play with Doc, but I can always just turn off the Twitch one and we can keep rolling on Kick. You know what I mean? That, yeah, that, yeah, that's another yeah. big positive too with that stuff so i like that i mean that's like pathetic on twitch's part right just because like doc is banned on twitch that uh, and that, that and you still cannot play with him if you play with him you can get banned i i don't understand that policy man like twitch gotta loosen up a little dog like anyway can't wait for that pop it's gonna be a list stream yeah he for, said he was for, in tarkov at the moment so i don't i'm not putting any pressure on him like when he wants to play i'll be playing both probably so we can chill okay okay we can chill we can chill we can chill and I just found it interesting because over the past couple of months, I think this was over Christmas or holiday Wait break, we talked about Cloaksy, who continues to risk actually streaming with Dr. Disrespect on Warzone, on Twitch, and Twitch have done nothing about this, which is interesting. I'm not saying that it should be a ban, but over time, a lot of people have risked having Doc on their comms and in their games, and Twitch hasn't ever really acted on it. They had a rule change about this, but even more recently, we actually had Twitch in one of their top streamers, if not arguably the number one streamer on Twitch, Kai... And, and risk having Doc disrespect on the stream. 
They're like, I, I don't understand, dog. And what did dog do, though? You know, it's still been, it's been like how long? I believe three, four years since he got banned on Twitch, right? And, and Sigas don't even know why he got banned. Some Sigas believe that, like, he stole somebody's ice cream. Some believe that he shoved a bamboo up somebody's bum hole, something like that. Some people believe that he did not say enough, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some things that he said, yeah, 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 at the wrong time. We don't even know why he got banned. I mean, there are conspiracies, there are like rumors. Yeah, sure. I mean, if you know, let, me, let us know in the comments here. here. But wait for it, there's another clip that I wanna show you. We actually had Twitch and one of their top streamers, if not arguably the number one streamer on Twitch, Hi. Kai Sinat was actually watch partying Aiden Ross on kick, who is also in a similar banned, situation huh? as Dr. Disrespect. He is permanently banned or indefinitely suspended on the platform, <laughs> which means it's against terms of service for Kai or anyone else to actually watch them on Twitch and Twitch yeah, I think Twitch just cherry picks and Kai is black, right? And Gideon is also black and Gideon was sent into another dimension just because like he said some things that they didn't like and he apologized after right and he made things good but with Pokemon after he went to Pokemon house and he was like ah, ee, ah ooh, ee. And uh, he made things all right and they sent that guy to another dimension just because he was a man and also he was black like, I don't understand, but in the same breath, obviously, Kai is also black and they're not gonna ban Kai, but... I, I mean, they should not ban neither! They shouldn't ban... But guys, uh, check this one out. So this is absolutely pathetic, okay? Roll it. Hey, we're talking about Nick Merck's wife. Oh, and literally, 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah like as far as I'm aware, guys. Nicholas Merkinson is a streamer that mainly does Call of Duty, like Warzone, Apex Legends, that kind of FPS content, and, uh, you know, he's Twitter enemy number one. It's like another day, another dollar, you know? I log on to Twitter, and like clockwork, Nick Merckx is there, getting cancelled. And this time, it's for a conversation with his wife. Let's check it out. Bro. Honey, I'm on stream, and you're on speakerphone. I just wanted to tell you, I got so many plants for my butterfly garden, and it's going to be awesome. And Bruh. I'm buying ladybugs, like a whole bunch of them. <laughs> to I mean, I see nothing wrong with that. It's just him and his wife talking. Uh... That's great. Do you want to know why, uh, why? ladybugs, they kill off other insects? The ladybugs? The ladybugs? Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, you're an idiot. Bye. Jesus Christ. Just because of that. Just because of that, guys. Wait, wait, wait for it. I mean, to an outsider, the wow. wow can be a little bit dismissive. But then again, it's his wife. It's their relationship. Yeah. It's none of our business. Twitter is like, nah, bro, that's not your wife. That's our wife, dog. That's our wife, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's like, that's how tw uh, Twitter is acting like. And I, I, I hope he shows the response. Because I've seen a lot. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's what we got going on in this shop. You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know how... I don't know how it's going over there. <laughs> over here. At this point, the reach is so incredible, he's getting cancelled for this. Yes, I didn't we cut live anything in out. Crazy. This was the full conversation. We living in crazy times, guys. Uh, the end is nigh. The end is nigh. Should let me show you some of the takes on Twitter here. This guy's gonna be divorced in five years tops. I hate everything about his reaction in this clip. The only real issue, in my opinion, is- Yeah, it says uh, the person with the anime PFP. That he did it on stream. So people were insinuating that if he's doing this on stream, off stream, he might be like a super villain. Okay. Yeah, like off stream, he might be like spanking his wife. He might be going like, ta-ta, ta-ta, this You're and that. Idiot. I think they should cancel his wife for using the I word. She insulted him. Imagine what she says when she's not True. on camera. Like it's the same logic and it makes no sense. True. I also saw a lot of people say that if they had a wife they would treat them right but that's like really creepy in my opinion it's like why don't you have a wife anyway like you, you probably got more hours yeah I, I saw that comment and, I, and the guy literally said that bro if i had a wife like i would treat her right that's the thing you don't have it dog you don't have it twitter is if you guys okay listen to me okay if you think your existence is meaningless just understand this that there are people on twitter worrying about a Call of Duty streamer's marriage. Bruh. That's absolutely pathetic though. Like, holy crap, these are first world problems. I, I truly believe that these people got no problems in their lives, so they, they create problems, man. Listen, we all love drama, we all love memes, right? That's different though. But these things, they really get butter over that. Like, I mean, imagine though, somebody in third in a third world country, listen, man, no disrespect, I'm from Pakistan, that's also considered a third world country, right? Like. 
somebody that's gonna be in a third world co country they would be looking at this they would be like bro they, like they would be t they would be slapping themselves hard right now because like this isn't even like a topic of discussion there because those things gotta worry about like actual food actual money in real life right they they got like so many different problems and these things got like literally they're so privileged they got everything and they're getting mad over somebody else's business though there's a world of warcraft and on grass so like pipe down i'm convinced everyone dunking on this clip has never been in an actual real relationship he's on stream taking a call from his wife about a fucking butterfly garden of course that's the reaction it makes for a funny moment he's on stream he's an yeah. entertainer i'm yeah, pretty exactly. much in the same and on stream you uh, and on videos right like same goes for me and same goes for everybody like if you were to stream that you're gonna like 10x your your personality right like you're gonna be all allowed and crap right like that for the entertainment you're gonna try to think of like new jokes uh, some of them will hit some of them won't hit and simple as that he did the, the same thing almost in both as long as he's not cheating on his wife or going straight up jake paul yeah oh my goodness hey yo Yo, what the hell? What did you say, bro? What? He's an entertainer. I'm pretty much in the same boat. As long as he's not cheating on his wife. We need to cancel WestJet. Uh, WestJet right now. Effective immediately. We're going straight up Jake. <laughs> uh, I I'm joking, Ryan. Call Mike Tyson on her sorry. ass? I don't really Part two care. People Let's toss it a hypothetical. Let's say about work. Log five guys shift. I come home and the dishes aren't done. You betcha I'm calling my fiance a bitch. My God, give it a right to free speech. And I do understand why people were concerned. Some people were genuinely coming from a good place. You know, they were actually worried about his wife, yada, yada. You know, they were in abusive relationships. Maybe they sent something parallel to the lines of that. But in reality, we don't know their case. There's no... Dog, like, just, just think about it, man. The amount of time your father and mother, like, fight in real life. Like, Brad, do you think that other couples are, like, always, like... Do you think it's always like sunshine and rainbows? Absolutely not, bro. Like suck as fight, dog. Like I still remember like the the day GTFI released. I had like a massive like meltdown in my house, and I was like, uh, yo, please, like you know what I'm saying? Like I was I was crying. GTFI released. I was also trying to play that. Emotions were high. Like I was excited. I was also crying. I was depressed. This and that because parents were fighting, and, and you know I was like, I gotta play this game. I was like, why did God put me in this bull squash? You feel what I'm saying? Like it happens though. It happens, man. Like, if you got a family, like, oh, of course, man. There's going to be things that you would agree or disagree on. And this clip from Nick Merckx, bro, that wasn't even half bad, though. It, all, all what he did, <laughs> did was, wow. That's what he said. Obviously, the way he said it was kind of funny and sarcastic. That's the way a lot of people, like, right-minded people saw. But other people, like, if I had a wife, <laughs> I would treat her, <laughs> treat her right. That's right. You don't have a wife for a reason point in really making insinuations about this we don't know how these people are off camera the butterfly garden and it's gonna be awesome and i'm buying ladybugs like a whole bunch of them <laughs> shut up bitch 28 million views on x and it's a whole ass nothing burger it feels like the people on twitter just want to have a reason to be upset at anything and uh, yeah. you know why is nick Merckx so hated i think people are mad at him because uh twitch called you have to wear masks that he just said man i need to start my twitch uh twitter game up right now bro i should start like posting clips as well uh like that because things get made for no reason like twitter okay listen man if you honest advice though i know this is gonna be counterproductive but honest advice like if you're if you do not work on social media if you do not get money from twitter you should not be on that platform it's just toxic you're not missing anything valuable i know this is counterproductive i, I want you on twitter okay like if you got twitter follow me on twitter okay but no nah, seriously if you're not on twitter don't even think about it if you're on twitter dog like you know it right like I know it can be good for sometimes uh, for memes and news, but other than that, like it's uh, it's like everybody's just uh, diarrhea. <laughs> it's like everybody's diarrhea everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That L, which uh, you know I thought was pretty funny. The mask thing was also over at that time, so like you can't really blame him. This wasn't even peak COVID. This was like 2023. However, yeah. Nick Merckx made one mistake. He antagonized uh -oh. himself to the LGBT community. And, yeah, uh, yeah, on yeah. internet, that's like suicide. Nick Merckx yeah. is facing backlash for comments he made on an LGBT tweet where a school acknowledged the month of Judas pride month nick said they should leave little children alone that's the that's, real issue yeah they should leave the kids alone absolutely like the video if you agree is that really the bar we're going with is the bar really that low to where like if you say kids shouldn't be taught stuff you're instantly a bigot than a homophobe yeah. i guess i'm Insane, a bigot than a homophobe i mean simply like leave the kids alone right like it's it has nothing to do with that but guys this drama there is probably another drama that needs to be covered and you know what click on this video on the screen this is another one of those drama you know what I'm saying? 
click on this video on the screen. This is the last time when Dr. Disrespect catches Z-Laner cheating in Call of Duty, man. This was absolutely hilarious, and I'll see you right there.